100 years ago today, a tank was used on the battlefield for the first time. It was at the Battle of the Somme, which is regarded as the bloodiest in British military history. Our correspondent, Robert Hall, looks back at a day that changed the face of warfare. Crawling out of the smoke on a September morning, the lumbering monsters changed the world's armies forever. Even in World War I, you can see elements that are true to tank warfare right to this day and why the army has tanks today. It has a fear factor. From the German side, we have contemporary accounts and I think there's that first impact of sheer terror. Governments had been trying to come up with a way to break the stalemate. They found the answer here, in tracked farm vehicles. The early tanks were initially known as land ships. More than 40 were supposed to be in the first attack. Only nine made it through to German lines. Conditions for the early tank men were horrendous. There was the sound and the heat from this engine. The temperature in here could get up to 50 degrees centigrade. Add to that the smoke and the fumes which made many of the soldiers ill. And the fact that the tank had no suspension, which meant that the eight men were thrown around in this enclosed space like rag dolls. Can you see the netting? On the Janet Lee's father, Reginald Laverty, drove one of the tanks in that first attack. He and his crew were forced to flee for their lives. The underside of his chin was deeply pockmarked. He was the driver and he had a mask of chainmail with um, little goggles. He must have been wearing one of those. So his face was protected, but his underside of the chin wasn't. Reginald Laverty and his comrades would scarcely have believed where the tank story has taken it. What did today's tankies make of life in this slow, noisy metal box a century ago? being shot at for the first time in vehicles they hadn't really practiced with. It must have been a terrifying experience. A lot of the guys back then didn't even know what they were getting themselves in for. To do what they did, hats off to them. It's a massive, massive thing to be proud of as a tanky, definitely. Tanks have evolved and they're still evolving. But in this high-tech, fast-moving age, have the giants had their day? We think the tank's over, but we find we need it again. So sadly, for good or ill, or however you want to look at it, I think we are going to need tanks again in the future. That report there from Robert Hall. The headlines now here on BBC News.